Nice shooting. I can see why they gave you the Army Commendation Medal. This is just preliminary. It's a fact-finding exercise. Gum? Cigarette. <laughs> Trying to quit. Okay, let's do this. Are you sexually active on base? I, I do not appreciate that question. I'm fact-finding. It's preliminary. Aren't you supposed to salute me or something? Then why are you talking to me? Sit down. I'm legal counsel to Major Stone. I'm also prosecutor, defense counsel, computer programmer, Girl Friday, and I do a mean Miss Piggy impression whilst inebriated. Do you have sexual partners here? Am I obliged to talk to you? No, but if you want Stone to proceed with an investigation, you should. I read your file. Smoking, check. Birth control, check. Herpes medication, check. Ma'am, what is the relevance of this? Speaks to character. I'm not sexually active. You didn't take your weapon. The night of the assault? No, to your first communion. Yes, the night of the assault. Allow me to remind you that every soldier is advised to take their weapon with them after dark. You could be reprimanded. You could be demoted. So did you brush up on military rules on your way over here? Maybe you didn't think you needed it. it wasn't supposed to be that sort of night. Ma'am, do you have a problem with me? Not at all. Well, I'm a little cranky on account of the gum. And strictly between you and me, I'm PMS. But aside from that, not so much. You, on the other hand, seem to have a problem with me. Yeah. I'm a soldier. I don't hobnob with lawyers. Believe me, we're not hobnobbing. You knew two of the men well. I knew one well. He was a good friend of my husband's. That Sergeant Major Martinez. I was trying to convince him to seek counseling. I think that he has PTSD. Are you a psychologist? He drinks. I just thought he should be getting help. Are you suggesting that the military is in dereliction of caring for its own? I am five generations of soldier. I married a soldier. All I have ever wanted to do was to fight for my country and to defend our freedoms. The United States Army is the single greatest institution in the history of the world. I believe in my unit and in my chain of command. And I know that the Army will go after perpetrators because we go after bad guys. It's that simple. <laughs> Nothing's that simple. Well. I didn't take Cynicism 101 at some fancy law school, ma'am. I was too busy chasing terrorists, which is why they gave me that medal. What did they give you? Jesus, Wow, You're a true blue friggin' patriot. But you've already admitted two misconducts in the night of assault. That sort of puts you in the long grass straight from the drive. Truth is, your chance of conviction is poor. That's just reality. I want justice. Mm -mm. You want revenge. I don't want revenge. You want revenge. Screw the cost. Screw your career. Screw the career of those men. They raped me. You hate these men. Admit it. Admit that you want to see those bastards fry. Come on! Try to be as tough as you act. Of course I do. Of course I want revenge. I think about revenge all the time. When I think about them, watching that video, it makes me want to maim them. Makes me want to hurt them more than they hurt me. I want to fuck them up. Is that what you want to hear me say? That I want to fuck them up? Because I want to fuck them up, ma'am. I want to fuck them up! Thank you. That's all I need. What would you want? Yeah, that's right. So in answer to your question, no. I don't have to salute you. Did you tell her it's not going anywhere? Well, a legal review hasn't concluded, and I'll tell you why it bleeds camouflage. She won't back down. I say we form a CA tomorrow, and we get this thing to an Article 32 where she can have her day in the sun. It's out of our hands. Since when? 
Since this evening, I heard from Mount Sinai that Moses is unhappy. You mean General Prince? Wait, what are, what are we saying? We're saying that it's out of our hands. General Prince is killing it? When Moses is unhappy, God is angry. And whoever decides to push an Article 32 is going to be visited by a plague. Wait, who was the third man? Who was the one who filmed the assault? It's classified. It's classified. Affirmative. Colonel, it was the third man, Lieutenant Willard Prince, Jr. That's why this is being killed. You don't ask someone to investigate a case and then classify a suspect unless the suspect happens to be the son of a two-star general. You're signing his transfer paper. What did we do here this morning? We arrested three Haiji trying to get on base to kill Americans. They had enough Simtex strapped to them to, to blow up a half a city block. Now, don't get me wrong. I abhor what happened to this young girl. But her plight does not take priority over Haji. That's right, sir. That's right. Haji doesn't do protocol. We do. What's your mission here? To build a stable democracy. And I need you to do that as a colonel. I don't want you to get stuck here in administration because you've decided to stand up for a girl who practices poor judgment. You are always the smartest guy in the room, Joe. And you and I both know that you should be at the Pentagon by now. The top brass is watching you, so don't fuck this thing up. You be strong. Do we have a problem, Major? Colonel, I don't do this job to get rich, and I don't do it to be liked, and I don't do it to work in Virginia. I do it because I am strong. I'll handle it. Thank you.